Howdy. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Hey there, new guy. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. Oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. You really do love your jokes. You are joking, right? Well, look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first ever sample. On top of that, you get free drinks. Not, not like unlimited free drinks. But you want a little pick-me-up now and then? I got you covered. I need some time to work on what comes next. But this... This was the difficult part, I think. Really? Thank you so much. Catch you later. into a damn air freshener. The hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? Fair enough. Glad to see you showing some backbone. 
Just be careful that you can back up that attitude before you square off with someone who can kick your ass. But, all that aside, you made it. So now, you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Keep. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. Oh, well, I'll get right on that. A few plans, some throw pillows, and maybe this place will meet with your approval. Okay, sunshine? You know, that's not a bad idea. The plants would really improve the atmosphere in here. Literally. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you, too. Follow me. All right. History. You don't cross the fleet without paying the price. Credits or blood. Next time, think before you betray your own. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, lock, key, uh, cute, huh? the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction, you know. That thing I spend most of my day dealing with, believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. Still on some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Alutra. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Brooke, where you'll be lucky if these blood sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just finding because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I'll remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. <clears throat> Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but, uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuroamps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, neighbor. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. Don't even the try right, to rip me off. Ride Bradley from I the trade value authority. when I see it. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left. 
run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up, if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Okay, this is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Bog serves watered-down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here is the most important place on the entire station. The Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Ray? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost-effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind, and a certain degree of safety. Essentially, but I sleep soundly knowing I'm one of the few that can piss Delgado off and live. Should I die, all of my knowledge, the accounts, the credits, it would be a mess. He wouldn't dare. He holds the trigger, but we all know that my death cripples the fleet. Call the bomb a weapon of last resort. It's been over five years since I've stepped off the key. Leaving this place puts far too much at risk. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications even Dugin would envy, I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. There. You're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. If Neva's chosen wisely, we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say, so you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. All right, listen up. You can all stop complaining. Atrium to cargo bay doors. Of course, when the tour is over. Those crabs ah, ain't gonna steal themselves. Here's our other new recruit. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, right, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. 
Neighbor's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you. Which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. You and everyone else on the station. Keep following orders and you'll get paid. It's as simple as that. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. Hey, if you've got a problem, I can decorate that wall behind you with your brains. Room could use a little color if you ask me. It's all right, neighbor. I admire this Rook's backbone. Takes a lot of guts to crack jokes with the threat of death staring them in the face. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead Rooks. You think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story? Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Through a bit of luck and a hell of a lot of cash, Neva was able to get her hands on an access code to the inside of the lock. This will be the first time someone from the Grinson fleet has set foot in there for... Well, since Griggs left the place behind. It has been frustrating being this close to potential clues, but not being able to find a way through those prison walls. What? Were you expecting a goddamn graduation ceremony? Think I'm just going to slap a skull on you and send you on your way? Make no mistake. You are being tested all the time. Every job you take will be under constant scrutiny. And neighbor? Oh, she's just waiting for you to screw things up. Of course. Where else could I find such a perfect location to weed out any rooks who'd be wasting the fleet's time? Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's Legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Subarov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crix left a lot of big talk on that record, and not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC System. You forget the UC is still licking its wounds from the colony wars. They don't have the capability to mount a full-scale assault. And if they were foolish enough to attack, we would have the manpower to push those pendejos right back to Jemison. If we have Crix's legacy. Listen to the words that I am saying. The legacy is real. You will find that out in due time. Provided you're willing to put in the work. Nothing worth having ever comes easy. Just as long as it isn't buried at the bottom of the ocean. 
Digging I'm fine with, but diving? <laughs> I'll take a pass. Planets in this system are cold enough already. Exactly. Now you're beginning to understand. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. Talk to me. Protective gear. The right gear would be the difference between life or death. See ya. Looking to make quick work of your enemies? Well, well. Neva's new hotshot. <laughs> I knew you'd find your way back to my little corner of the key. Everyone always does. Hey, if you want to pour credits into my pocket, you won't hear any arguments from me. I carry most of the standard hardware. You know, kinetics, electromags, energy, even a few explosives. Occasionally, I stock a few smuggled items. Basically, the stuff Sistev doesn't want you to play with. Just don't screw me over or I'll be inclined to give you a free demo. With your head as the target. Oh, we all have trust issues here. A little advice, Sadiqui? The fleet's trust can't be bought. You earn it. You bleed for the fleet, the fleet bleeds for you. Pure and simple. Anyone who says otherwise is either lying or getting ready to stab you in the back. Don't say I never did you any favors. Just gotten a new shipment. Need more weapons or ammo? Come see me. Mm, I wonder what the composition of air is here. I feel like I can detect a faint increase in oxygen. So this is the key. I'm honestly impressed. They Souvenirs are fun to pick up, but better to give. Enjoy. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. Don't worry about it. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. What's on your mind? Ah, good. I have to meet up with a contact to discuss a... Ah, you don't need the details. But anyway, this works for me. Point the way and we'll be off.
initiated. Watch your flaring. you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. That is why we're here. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right, listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. It's <laughs> so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Hold on, no scrapping. How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say, no questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice bar without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. Oh, very nice. I'll just remain here and soak in the planet's lovely winter-like atmosphere until I go hypothermic. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. Find a use for that before it spoils. Cool things. 
last very long. Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy, and eventually, the Crimson Fleet. The Lock. Around five years. Rumor says he started planning his escape the moment that he arrived. Yeah, he needs to get this thing open like, right now. It's freezing out here. Then crank up your suit heat, Mathis, because it's probably not going to get much better once we are inside. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. <laughs> we are in. Let's go.
bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already! I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area, but everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? Just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? The plan? Who gives a shit about the plan? Let's face it, we're on our own now. You think he rigged that collapse on purpose? No. No way. I get that we're down here trying to prove ourselves. I don't think this is what Delgado had in mind. Funny you should mention that. Because staring at that wall of ice gave me an idea. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. Whoa, whoa, hang on. G g give me a second to explain. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct, and there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Oh, fine. Suit yourself. You know, for a second there, I was almost starting to respect you. Now, let's find a way out of here. I can't imagine being stuffed down here to rot. Poor bastards. Don't worry, it 
it all goes downhill from here. <laughs> now listen up. We have obviously been cut off, so I need you to do two things. First, I want you to keep looking for a way to open the rest of the doors down here. Otherwise, I'm not going anywhere. And second, try and dig up whatever you can about Jasper Griggs. You both got that? Huh. I like your attitude, Rook. I'm going to be keeping a close eye on you. And tell Mathis not to get any bright ideas, or I will gut him myself.
imagine how angry the prisoners were when they find him. Yeah, right. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? Of all the people to get trapped here with, why the hell did I get stuck with you, huh? Fine, have it your way. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Keep doing what we've been doing. Right. <laughs> Glad I asked. I suppose we should start off by searching the tower for the location of Crix's cell. If he stashed any useful information, it might still be hidden somewhere inside. Cell D-0319. Just to start, I guess. Rotating codes on all the terminals in the lock. 
so we'll have to coordinate this carefully. For now, we'll continue using his locker in the showers area as a drop point for the code to the utility closet. By this time next month, I should be out of this dump and uploading those creds into my account. Delgado was right. Crix must have hit the Galrak transport and stashed away the money or something. We play this right, and we're gonna be filthy sticking rich in no time.
remind me to thank Delgado for hanging us out to dry. Bullshit, Delgado. I help plenty. Is that Mathis? Tell him to shut up. I will deal with him later. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Now all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock. And I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. Don't worry about your ship. I will send some people down to get it. You just get your ass on that shuttle and get out of here. According to the schematics, there is an emergency evacuation exit I can use to return to the surface. Then, it's just a quick run across the ice to my ship, and I'll probably still be you to the key. Good answer. You're learning fast. Okay. Let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the exit process. Please stand by. Yup. It's got it. Might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. Warden Tom Gillespie. Authorization 12210. This is likely to be my final log recording. The riots that started in D block have spilled into A, B, and C blocks. I've ordered everyone to fall back to the shuttle bay for evacuation. It was prisoner D03118, Jasper Crix, who led the revolt. His crew tunneled into the armory undetected, and then all hell broke loose. 
the lock is recovered, I urge the UC authorities to perform a full investigation. This Criggs undoubtedly had help from the guards and the staff. I'm now heading to my personal escape shuttle and... We'll try to jump out of the system. Wish me luck. Warden Gillespie, out. Why the hell did you lie to Delgado about me? You didn't do all this work alone. Oh, come on. There's no need for that. You're right. Maybe I could have done more of the brain work. But hey, at least I helped you take out those things, whatever the hell they were. Right? Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I promise that you won't regret it. Now, let's get the heck out of here. something for you. You're welcome. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. It's been a while. 
Check back with me from time to time after we return from our planetary jaunts. If I pick anything up, it's all yours. so long. It's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, neighbor. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. That's it? Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A gal bank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a gal bank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, Neva. Think. If gal bank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay. This changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. Well, that is not necessarily true. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Adios mio. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Ava. This isn't hard. Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Galbank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Rokoff is... <laughs> well, he's Rokoff. A real pain in the ass. He used to run with the fleet until we kicked him out. Lately, he has been using his long-hauling skills to captain a Starliner for Trident. Gives us a contact within the company. He has been trying to get his foot back in the door with us for years. But I'm not ready to let him in just yet. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. It's not what you're thinking. It's more of an office than a bank vault. Once you're inside, you'll be able to gain access to one of their computers and find out more about the legacy. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. You know what? I'm gonna leave that entirely up to you. If you think he's come through for us, you can promise him he'll get paid. But if he gets in your way, then you take him out. <laughs> I see what you are getting at, Rook. And don't worry, I would ask the same thing. Just be sure to get those credentials. Anything else of value you find on Rokov Starliner is all yours. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to cut him from the fleet. 
Honestly, I'm surprised he made it off Suvorov in one piece. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Griggs' legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Matt. If you have any last questions about the job, ask them now. Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Bectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Oh my goodness. That must have been... terrifying. When it comes to the artifacts, it never ceases to amaze me how the science... well, simply fails. If there is, the artifacts are doing a heck of a job hiding it. The artifacts are so different, so alien, and I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Ah, oh, that's an excellent question. You'd think after years of gathering data about the artifacts, I'd have the perfect answer to that. But I haven't the faintest idea. Not much, I'm afraid. All I have to show for my efforts are eyewitness accounts, scores of inconclusive metallurgical test results, and wild theories. Oh, no, not at all. There's so much going on there, I can't afford to divert all of our resources. But I have classified the artifacts as a priority project. Does that really surprise you? A universal mystery left unsolved for God knows how long? Oh, I've been dreaming about solving this puzzle from the beginning. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look. I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk, and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. I want to talk to you. Thanks to you, Delgado's cut me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet, because I'm coming after you. Oh, I see. You think you're some kind of big shot, is that it? I'm gonna show poor Mathis a little mercy now that you're Delgado's best buddy, yeah? Well, guess what? Your generosity is getting me kicked off the key. And that means you better watch your back. Oh, I will, I can promise you that. Best part is, you won't even see it coming. Maybe it isn't the best idea to antagonize Mathis any further. It may end up slowing our mission down the line. Now get the hell out of me way! Well, isn't this... Cozy. 
It appears we've stumbled across the embodiment of the phrase, absolute mayhem. There you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole Rokoff on the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. Of course you'll get a cut. That's how everything works around here. Why would this be any different? Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those gal bank credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. No. Dombrowski's only aboard to use the Gal Bank VIP suite, so he can catch a free ride at the company's expense. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the other spoiled brats. I guarantee he doesn't give a crap about what's going on at the event. And I'd prefer to have the money that award's worth in my account. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? Unless you plan to walk away empty-handed, she really isn't giving us a choice. Rokoff does is feed me information. If I ask him to lift a finger, he gives me enough sob stories to fill a freighter's cargo bay. If you want my advice, leave him completely out of the loop. Otherwise, it's gonna cost both of us some credits. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my glue. Stay sharp, Rook. Better to stop here than down on the surface of Suvorov. So there I am. You see security on my... armor upgrades first. Sure I got something to suit your needs? Take your pick. Need more weapons or ammo? Come see me. Sure. You might find a deal or two here. If you can overlook the spatters of blood covering all the stolen goods, <laughs> of course.
see Sis Def as a joke. They haven't caught us yet. A brief history of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend, like, forever. Anything I can help you with? Need some work done? Sure, have at it. Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. 